What is a Lancer? Hi, hello! Welcome back to our favorite mech tabletop RPG, Lancer, where you play as Lancers. And that's the topic of this video, that question. What is a Lancer? What is the namesake? What is the player character? Though not just the player character as in, yes, it's the stat sheets, it's the license access, it's the leveling up mechanics, but what is it in the sense in the world? In the lore, in the setting, what does it mean to be a Lancer? A bit that's actually weirdly tucked away, or at least anything explicitly calling out like, hey, this is the definition of Lancer, this is where the word is. Because throughout the book, at multiple points, at the start, middle, end, around the licenses, it is an elite mech pilot, and that's just roughly where it sticks around. It's down way at the bottom of the book, you get to pilots, which then also has Lancers adjacent to it. And when you get there, it is just that. Elite mech pilots. It's the same thing that the pilots go through, but just the elite version of it. The most fantastic, the best at combat, the best at aiming their mechs, working with the electronics and mechanics. They're not just the best pilots, that is part of the whole gimmick of a Lancer, but you are also mechanic. The licenses and putting these components together is something that you are doing. And elite, less in the sense of just a rank up, like, oh, congrats, you're the best in your class, or colleagues from the baronies being trained up in the colleges. No, 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 no. We're on the scale of multiple systems throughout the Orion arm. This is the best of the best. Even by the time of LL1, you are already considered somewhat elite or above your peers of just pilots. And is also an explanation for the limited things NPCs can do. Warhammer levels of specific, small granularity of taking from multiple planets, multiple systems, massive populations of, yeah, this is the cream of the crop just rising to the top. Now you can have elite pilots, that's even a stat block when it comes to certain NPC blocks, but when it comes to a Lancer, that word is a colloquial term for just the best of the best. Not even an official ranking under any specific designation or even within Union, but just a popular term for it, just knowing what a Lancer is, like a, an ace, a hot shot. There is still a little more that goes into it. Not necessarily Lancer specifically, but pilots. Because a pilot is already deemed above an average person. So this is where a lot of the more funkier bits can come into play when it comes to Lancers. When it comes to the schooling or college level of it, or just training, Union and Carrick in Space take that in spades. Both have in their capital systems entire institutions dedicated to just the training of pilots, and on the top of that are Lancers. But in other regions, such as certain corpo states, you might have specific body parts removed or other implants to be able to handle the mech chassis, or physically integrate yourself into the cockpit. It might be increased gene mods to handle the G-force, the actual capabilities of the mech itself working past you, the human limitations being the issue with piloting it. When it comes to SSC, they breed people for this. But it comes down to every pilot being modified to some extent or another. Not just plain. You can't just hop into a mech chassis alone completely fine. You have some kind of implant to interact with the neural bridge. At the very least. But further modifications might be further enhancing this. That might be why you are a Lancer if someone came up to becoming a Lancer. It's just the severe amount of modifications to be able to just handle or further excel themselves in that position. Pilots are not humans. It goes back to the Human Plus video. Not necessarily to the extremes mentioned in that. Well, possibly. I mean, it's a big galaxy, probably. But to the cosmopolitan level of always having some kind of enhancement going around. The job and station you take up just requires it, or is at least enhanced by it. Now, when it comes to your game specifically, there's different ways you can run Lancers. Because you could have it predetermined by something. It could be a luck of the draw from birth. Just that happened to be enhanced that way. Not in the physical enhancements, but just clicks. You go into piloting programs, you activate a neural bridge, and it's just a natural state. You're raised from birth with it. I, again, it's just independent to the pilot's story and the Lancer itself. It's left open so any of these possibilities can be a thing. But also, all of these possibilities do exist. <laughs> from the, just the straight up college, doing it from birth, modifications, being bred for it. Pilots are weird. They're a different breed, sometimes literally. That was Lancers, pilots, the actual mech piloting to an extent. It's not just Lancers that pilot these mechs. But when it comes to how I run it, if you want to stay around for that, that's the rest of the segment. Now just for the tone of game or setting I'm trying to go for, it just is technically right. It fits within that previous system, but it just plays a bit more into the Androidus because that's just cool, and the FCA, the First Contact Accords. But first comes the Neural Bridge. So before the First Contact Accords came truly into fruition, there was just, uh, just enough advancement to get to the point of trying to test putting the human mind into a computer. In modern time, you have the Humunculus that comes out of that, but... The other side of that coin is the neural bridge, allowing you to interact with machinery and electronic equipment. You're not entirely downloading yourself or living within that space, but you can interact with it. And the way I run it is that, yes, with enough training, you can still reach Lancer status with that, but there are just some people that instantly click with that neural bridge. That there are just connections. That for some reason, certain humans, when put in the right situation of a pilot, for example, all of them already needing these modifications to pilot something in the first place, all of a sudden, instantly clicks. 
knowing every bit of mechanics, even if they were not previously trained to be a mechanic of that chassis, because Lancers are both mechanic and pilot. There's an inherent knowledge over their own chassis and every little bit of it, almost this second body over them, not just sitting in a cockpit, almost feeling through the chassis itself. Not necessarily to that extreme, literally, if you go into SSC and a lot more of their modifications, yes, literally, but innate connection that can be trained and pushed for, but again, it, it then reaches that point of elites. One of the things that the Karakin and Union Colleges are for, or the universities, but also allowing for things like Rebels to just click. Now I run that because in my interpretation and version of Lancer universe or the Orion Arm is because I really like to play up into the FCA or the Androidist. There's an entire groups based around modifying themselves, or there's a, a different group that believes this is a vision or a path to ascension, that while we have a homunculus right now, the neural bridge is the right path. There are individuals and ways you can enhance yourself, not just mentally or biologically, but also mentally. There is a way to adapt to technology. This group almost worshiping Lancers as this next step in humanity. But that one's a very, like, subgroup specific to the campaign or region. Still fits within the general definition because all of them are modified to some extent and need that neural bridge. But as a base, anyone can be a Lancer. There's still modifications needed, at least to some extent, but outside of that, training, luck, gumption, fate, whatever it is. The machine just liking you if you listen to the Spari. And in any of these cases, it's you. You're the Lancer. Or the person GMing for a group of Lancers. Good luck. <laughs> I say good luck because not just for the GM, but as a Lancer, because you're in a mech chassis, you're an elite pilot, so the galaxy's gonna throw a lot of things at you. Prove that you're elite, prove that you're the best, prove that you will not stand down and be crushed by the weight of a galaxy's evils. Be that light at the end of the tunnel. Go for it. Thank you for watching the video and sticking around till the ending. So this is just a short thing thrown in between, namely because a lot of people have been asking this question in the comments, and it is a thing that's just left at the bottom of the core book. And also just to pad a little bit for the Kane video taking a bit longer. But in any case, thank you for watching, thank you to my patrons, and have a nice day.